Hey guys, it's Larry Greenberg, and I've spun the cameras around so I can talk to all of you about solid state hard drives, more specifically, Intel solid state hard drives. Intel was nice enough to reach out to me to ask that I review one of their solid state hard drives. Now they sent along one of their newer drives. This is their 330 series. This is a 240 gigabyte solid state hard drive. Now you may be asking yourself, why me? Why solid state hard drives? And why is Larry Greenberg reviewing them? I think most of my viewership has come to know me as someone that kind of gives the average consumer's opinion on products. I'm not the most technically savvy person around, so this review or this installation, tutorial, whatever we like to call it, is not going to be filled with fancy terms, benchmark tests, and things like that. I'm gonna give you my overall impressions from start to finish, and when we say start to finish, I mean not only installation of the drive, but performance. So I'm gonna set out to install this drive on a 15 inch MacBook Pro. Then I'm going to clone the drive that I previously had and put all that information onto the new drive. And then I'll use the new drive for a few days to see how it performs and come back and give you my overall thoughts. So before we get into it, let's first talk a little bit quickly about solid state hard drives and why they're so great. They've gained popularity recently thanks to Apple's release of their MacBook Air line of computers. Most of you are probably aware that the MacBook Air comes with a solid state hard drive. A solid state hard drive is one that does not have any mechanical parts in it. That allows it to offer a kind of unique user experience, one that is traditionally much faster than a regular hard drive that has spinning mechanical parts. Now, on the downside, Solid state hard drives are usually smaller in capacity. You get a little bit more for your money with a mechanical hard drive, but with everything as it stands now in the way of cloud storage, does everyone really need as much storage as they physically have on an older computer? Probably not. So speed is going to be a huge factor. You can also opt to purchase one of these drives on your own and install it on your own computer after the fact. Now, I did some checking this 330 drive from Intel, retails on Newegg's website for $199.99. 240 gigs of storage space. If you were to buy the same 15 inch MacBook Pro that I'm going to install this on and upgrade it to a 256 solid state hard drive, you would have to pay Apple $400, so double the price. Well, not really all that necessary, is it? I know like we all like to get our computer right away in the kind of perfect form factor that we're going to be using it in, but it's not necessary. You can opt for a lower hard drive, a smaller hard drive, and then pick up one of these solid state hard drives yourself and do the entire upgrade process on your own. Again, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm not a technician. I'm not super computer, computer savvy. I'm gonna have some help um, from some of the people I work with who are gonna kinda guide me through the process and along the way. So let's get into exactly what comes in this box. We're gonna get to the installation, the cloning, the migration, and all that good stuff and then come back and talk about my overall thoughts and impressions on switching to a solid state hard drive from Intel. So here we go. All right, before we proceed to step number one, which is gonna be the installation of this drive, let's talk about what's included in the box, as well as some of the other features to installing an SSD, as I already mentioned. Speed is probably number one. A solid state hard drive will do everything faster, and I'm gonna crack open the box while I talk. Not only will it allow you to boot up your computer faster, but it will allow you to transfer files faster. It will allow you to open programs faster as well. So everything that you do on your computer will go faster with a solid state hard drive. Solid state hard drives also use less power, so if you're a laptop Top user and you like to be unplugged often, you'll probably notice better battery life with a solid state hard drive. So here's the drive itself. You can see the size, comes a little serial number. It's in a protective bag, of course, warning me to observe precautions for handling electrostatic sensitive devices. So let me move out of that out of the way. There's also a sticker, Speed Demon. As I mentioned, everything is faster with a solid state hard drive. And then there is a set of instructions. This is a dual set of instructions because on one side you have instructions for installing this drive into a desktop computer. And then on the other side, 
you have instructions for installing them in a notebook computer. One thing I want to point out is under option or step number two, there is a link to download free Intel data migration software for the Intel SSDs. So the most important thing that you're all probably concerned about when it comes to moving to an SSD is how this is going to impact your life. Are you going to lose data? Are you going to be without your computer? The bottom line is no. We're going to do a full data migration so that the computer we start with looks exactly like the computer we finished with, except for the fact that it's going to have a solid state hard drive instead of a traditional spinning part hard drive. So that's pretty cool. Let's see what else we got. Got a little CD that mentions this data migration software. It can be downloaded from here. And then underneath there are some parts, looks like some sort of chassis, a couple cables and some screws. So like I mentioned, a couple steps to this video, a little talk now about what's included in the box and why we want to go to SSD. Step number two is going to be removing my old traditional hard drive from the 15 inch MacBook Pro and installing it uh, and installing the SSD into it. Then doing the full data migration, you'll observe all of that. And then I'll come back and chat with you after I've had a chance to use the computer for a couple days with the solid state hard drive fully installed. In this first clip, we are removing the 7200 RPM hard drive from a 15 inch MacBook Pro and replacing it with the Intel 330 240 gig SSD. This clip has been sped up four times for effect. Once drive installation had been completed, the next step in the process was to partition the hard drive. With the hard drive successfully partitioned, we next set out to install Mac OS 10.8 Mountain Lion from a bootable thumb drive. This next clip shows our first boot up after successfully installing Mac OS 10.8 Mountain Lion you can see just how fast the machine boots up. We chose Apple's Migration Assistant for moving our data from the old drive to the new. Instead of using an external enclosure for our old hard drive, we used a hard drive sled to transfer our data from the old hard drive to the new drive. Once Migration Assistant was complete, we were ready for our first boot up, which took only 11 seconds. This drive is blazing fast. So I'm back after about a week's worth of testing of the Intel 330 series 240 gigabyte SSD and I'm ready to give you kind of my overall thoughts and impressions of the drive. Bottom line, the all around performance of this hard drive is amazing. Not only will average users benefit from the speed increase, but professionals will as well, mostly when it comes to opening applications. Applications simply open so much faster, faster in a way that you can actually measure. So a normal boot up time of the old hard drive that was in the computer 
computer I was using. And remember, that one was a 7200 RPM standard hard drive. That took 35.9 seconds to boot up. And that meant from the moment I pressed the power button until the desktop appeared and was usable. This Intel 330 SSD boots up to a usable desktop in 14 seconds. Pretty much more than half. I mean, absolutely incredible. Some of the other tests I did, file copying. I copied a 4.3 gigabyte file. And when I mean copy, I mean copy from folder to folder on the actual hard drive. The standard hard drive, the 7200 RPM hard drive, took one minute and 40 seconds to copy that file. The SSD did it in a blazing fast 25 seconds. Unbelievable speed. Finally, I opened my iTunes library, which has 3,326 items in it. The standard hard drive took 5.5 seconds to open and become usable, where the Intel 330 SSD opened in 1.2 seconds. Guys, this is real data that you can use. This hard drive is perfect for everyone. I think it's ideal for someone who has a computer that's possibly two to three years old that needs a boost if your computer's running a little bit slower, or even, as I mentioned earlier in the video, a brand new computer, someone that's looking to change the hard drive that came in the computer to an SSD. You no longer have to worry about doing these massive file and system updates uh, because of how long they'll take. They finish in a matter of seconds. Gone also is the concern of a solid state hard drive being smaller in capacity. Used to be kind of the knock on solid state hard drives is they are smaller in capacity and really aren't meant for someone that has a large file structure built to their computer. Intel makes this 330 SSD up to 600 gigabytes in size for laptops. For most people that will satisfy satisfy everyone's need for mass storage. Starting with a price of only $199, this upgrade is a huge bang for your buck and definitely something worth considering for all users. So that has been a brief look, somewhat brief quote unquote, look at the Intel 330 SSD, the 240 gigabyte version, kind of gave you the soup to nuts here from the unboxing to the usage to the install and everything in between. I wanna thank Intel for sending this out to me for review. I will put a link in the video description to Intel's product page on the drive, as well as a site Newegg where you can purchase this if you're so inclined. As always, if you have any questions about what you saw in this video, you know you can always drop me a line. Otherwise, have a great day.